Welcome friends. In this tutorial, we'll be getting familiar with the interface of 3ds Max. But first of all, you'll see all these things in dark color. Now it is up to you if you want to let it be. But for me, I'll go to customize and I'll choose custom UI and default switcher. From here, I'll recommend you to use this AME light because I will be using this light layout. Click on set. It may take some time and then it will load the custom scheme for us. This is just a preference. So you can still work with that darker scheme if you want to. But this light scheme is more preferable for me. The default settings will take effect next time you will restart 3ds Max. You will click OK. Now I will recommend you to restart 3ds Max. But in this tutorial we will be just getting familiar with the user interface. First of all you will find the default menu which is edit, tools, group, views and a whole bunch of other menus over there. There are dockable and cascade menus. One important menu is this program button over here which have new, reset, open, import, export, send to, manage and properties which comes very handy. Then you'll find this bunch of tools and commands on this menu which is very helpful sometime. You'll find a timeline at the bottom of your window which is helpful for creation and separated into frames. You have got some control buttons over here. At the right bottom corner, you'll find some zooming options which are useful to zoom in, zoom out and other effects. You'll find one more panel which is command panel and it has different pans inside that. It comes very handy when you use all these tools which are very useful and often used in your 3ds Max project. The main screen is having four blocks. It's top view, front view and left view and the perspective view. You'll find this box over here which says this is top, this is front, this is left and this is perspective view. So this was a quick introduction to the user interface of Autodesk 3ds Max. Thank you.